Hi Flamos, not a Volt player here. I only played the Blitz version, the mobile one. I was watching the YouTube video from a couple of days ago where you killed a Conqueror in your Burgoyne. Uh huh. I didn't understand why you, why you and him kept waiting until you were parallel. What, why you won and he didn't fire and lost. Okay, well, that's an easy explanation. Give me a sec. Uh, let's find a moment. Wizard, take. Ooh, and the so you know how every moment? ship has um, a citadel, right? It's it pretty much starts uh, from the first turret. And it spreads all the way to the last turret. Everything below the waterline and turrets is a citadel. If you have enough pen and the angle is good enough and you usually want to hit ships at 90 degree angle. Um, because the more shells connect at the 90 degree angle, the more of them have a chance to penetrate properly and not ricochet or not penetrate at all. Um, so... You kind of try to aim for the center or the turrets at the waterline and you try to have a 90 degree angle. Fuck yes. Moin's like, I gotta save him. So I couldn't have shot him until this point, right? But if I shoot him now, uh, if I hit him like here somewhere, sure, it's gonna be probably a bunch of pens. If I hit him here, they it, like some of them might actually ricochet. If I shoot too high, I can't hit the Citadel and they might uh, just be overpens. And we're both loaded with AP. If he shoots me, he will probably do, I don't know, 15,000 damage, potentially damage one of my turrets. But that's not a problem for me because all my guns are reloaded already anyway. So all I need to do is then press the Damacon and then I have my guns reloaded. He doesn't. He needs to wait for like 25, 30 seconds to reload. And his broadside is going to be exposed. Now, the thing that I abused here is the fact that, one, he wanted to use all of his guns. So he was constantly showing me a decent angle. I could have shot him at any point and do good damage. But then he doesn't die. Like, I can't kill him from this angle, most likely. But he can't kill me at the moment either. So... I'll, I'll try to explain this to you. The way that we're positioned here is he's going to be doing this, right? And his guns are going to be looking this way. I won't be doing this. I am going to be doing this. More like this, okay? So... The angle, if you keep noticing, his angle is much bigger than mine, right? So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep him under the 45 degree angle. So when he shoots, if he goes for the Citadel, he will bounce. If he goes a little bit high, yes, the turrets can take some damage. Um, uh, turrets can take some damage and, and, and my superstructure can, you know, absorb a part. I could lose a lot of HP, but that's not a problem if you kill the ship that, that did that to you. So I'm constantly turning in towards him. Instead of sailing like this or wide and trying to get in a, in, in a perfect, like, uh, old school when they were just, they would just turn broadside to each other and then unleash hell. I'm trying to keep my angle somewhat closed while he is actually not keeping his angle very close even if he goes full hard right now he still can't really ram me and i can still keep my ship angled until the last moment i'm the one at this point in this position who has the advantage because he's greedy he wants to have all of his guns pointed at me at all times. He thinks that I will do the same, that I will give broadside and then he will smack me with 12 guns and potentially one shot me. But I know this, so I'm not going to do it. What I'm trying to do 
is I'm trying to wait for him to give me a better broadside or for a drive-by moment in which I actually have the advantage because two-thirds of my guns are in the front and uh, only half of his guns, this is only 50% of his firepower, right? And for me, this is 75% of my firepower. He has uh, six guns, I have eight guns in the front. And I'm, I'm essentially kind of forcing him to think that I might ram him. Now, the HP, if you take a look... Well, you actually can't. Hold on. Well, you can. Should be able to. If you take a look at the HP pool, my HP is actually bigger. 66%? Uh, yeah, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, the HP is actually bigger than his, right? He has 68. I have 73. Uh, but that's like 5k difference. Not a big deal. Um, we both kind of have a weak broadside, but he definitely has a weaker broadside than me. So if he continues sailing in this direction and slightly turning, I am essentially slightly turning here. And then in the last second, I will make a, like a very sharp, as much as I can turn to keep my ship sort of angled towards him while I'm having his broadside. Because if this is... If this is his angle, in order for me to have like a 90 degrees, I would need to sort of come here and then like this, right? And then I have him. It's kind of hard to explain in 2D. Um, so I'm trying to keep myself as close as I can to this trajectory. But in the same time, I'm cutting him off by not letting him have the angle, if it makes sense. Maybe this is too, too complicated. So essentially, if you keep paying attention to my rudder command here you will see that i'm slowly tapping it see I i'm trying to keep myself on the wide trajectory so he doesn't turn in and ram me and that i have a chance to dodge him if need be but i'm also trying to be prepared that at any point i might need to turn hard right so he doesn't slap me and sometime here Yeah, he decides to start turning the turrets. This is where I know I won. Because this is the point where he completely accepts the fact this is not going to be a ram. This guy, in, in this case me, is going to go for a drive-by. I have all the guns. And if you're aiming at someone's ship directly, instead of pre-turning your turrets, the ships are going to bypass each other much faster then your turrets can turn unless you're a DD or, or some light cruiser. So you kind of have to pre-turn the guns. The problem with him is that he's showing already a pretty good angle. And now that he's looking here, he's preparing for a perfect drive-by. I'll never let him have the perfect drive-by because now I'm actually... Now I can actually start doing that hard right. Because he will continue going on his trajectory. I can make a hard right. Wait until like I'm here. He's here. And then I can blast him. While still maintaining a decent angle. So he will always keep waiting for a better angle. Because he can never really catch me. While I actually get a better angle on him. And the only thing that can save him. Is... If I don't kill him in my first volley. If I don't kill him with my two guns. Even if he has like 10 HP left and my secondaries don't finish him off. At that point. His guns are perfectly turned towards me. And he's going to get that broadside shot. And then my last chance is that I managed to put him down with my rear turret. Uh, but that's already like. Very, very flimsy what's going to happen here. So let's see how it plays out. You see, he can see his turrets turning. Look at the angle. If he wants to shoot me, I'm still very, very well angled. He can't. He has to wait for the better angle. I already have a decent angle. But now that I can see that his guns are looking here and they're not even looking at me, I can take my time. I would have probably shot him here. 
if he was looking at me, potentially, because this, this is a decent angle. But now that I can see that his guns are looking here, that means I have at least a couple of seconds before he can finally get his guns on me. So I know I have time. So instead of shooting, you can see he's trying to turn as well, but he has so much side. And I'm like, look at, look where his guns are looking, dude. They are still not even on my tip here. They're looking like here somewhere, maybe even lower. And I'm like, this guy's gone. I'm just hard right. If you can see right here, it's super hard right. And I'm like, all right, this is where I make a decision. I'm shooting my guns. Now he's starting to look at my ball. He's still turning the guns. You see this? He's not actually aiming directly at me, which would make me a little bit concerned. He's still trying to correct the angle because I'm steering my ship constantly into him and preventing him from getting that broadside. And then I decide now's the time. And that's it. He had no chance in this fight. Like at no point did I give him a chance to actually kill me. That's the point. <laughs> See, now, if he wasn't dead in this instance right here where I fired my guns, let's say that I didn't kill him. Now his ship would be like here. With four guns looking like this. And then he blasts me right here with 12 guns and I'm probably dead. My only chance would be that this turret that's looking like this can actually finish the job of hitting a weak area here. And if that doesn't do it, I'm fucked. Even with, um, even with, the, with a gun reload booster, I'm pretty screwed. Uh, and, and my turrets, look where my guns are looking. My guns are not even looking at him. I, I miss my chance to shoot him anymore with anything that's not this. So the only follow-up from this, if he doesn't kill me with all of his guns, is he is either going to... Shit, hold on. If we don't kill each other here, he has a decision to make. Does he try this? And then he can go, obviously, there, there, or there. Or does he do this? goes in the middle or does he beach or can he actually make a turn and continue giving me broadside and at that point i have to make a decision do i go for the beach here trigger the gun reload booster turn my guns like this put myself into this position with guns looking like this and then blast his broadside or if he's running over here do i just keep going like this and potentially shoot him like in this area because he would be too angled. Or if he's going this way, I can't shoot him at all. And then we both trigger the heal. And then it's a battle of attrition. But keep in mind also that in this particular situation, I have a Des Moines here. If you take a look at the minimap, the only chance that I actually have of winning this quite significantly is if I kill this guy. And then it's just me versus Des Moines. Which is exactly what happens. I kill this guy. Also, one thing to notice, did you see how I kind of bumped into him? I was the one who had the decision to make, do I ram him or not? But I have to make that decision before we do the drive-by, obviously. There was no danger for me at any point that I was going to lose this fight based on how this guy played. So I knew that I was going to go for shots and not ram. But if he was trying to angle very good like I was... Then I have a decision to make. Do we do a really close drive-by? Or do I actually ram him and then we both go down? Because if we do a drive-by, we're just going to do some damage. It's going to create this very awkward situation that I just demonstrated where we don't kill each other. And if I don't do a drive-by and I just ram him, a battleship of full HP for a battleship of full HP. I didn't really lose anything. My team didn't really lose anything. We just neutralized each other. And then it's Smolensk versus Des Moines, and honestly, I would be worried for this Smolensk, considering how close they are. Oh, sit down, boy! <laughs> so now I see Des Moines as well. Now I'm that, gonna trigger the gun reload more. booster, because he's giving hold me broadside. My guns are turning. This is what would have happened if we made a drive-by, and I didn't kill the Conqueror. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. 
This could have been uh, Des Moines dead, by the way. Oh. But it's six over pens and four pens from which only one is a Citadel. Um, and that's it. Like, in literally two volleys, oh, we fucked Citadel. up two ships. And, and won this flank. So that's a, 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 a bit more complicated answer why I didn't shoot my guns and why this guy didn't shoot his guns because you put all your eggs in one basket and it has to work if it doesn't work you lost but you didn't lose in a firefight where you were shelling each other and he just managed to kill you and you you left him on 10k you're dead this guy's full hp you cannot afford to lose and this guy was always gonna lose with the way that he played and i knew that based on um on on how he was moving so, uh, I hope that that explains that situation. And I guess this could be another one of the School of Wolves videos, right? Leave a like, share, and subscribe, YouTube. Hi! <laughs> so, yeah. I wasn't listening. Can you explain that again, please? Yeah. So, that, here's one of the examples of what's, what's the difference between a regular player... And, and a person that is experienced and knows uh, the game. To you, you might just be looking at two ships that are going at each other. There's no mind process. There's nothing. Nobody's thinking about anything. And you're just like, something's going to happen now. I have no idea what, but something is about to happen. I can see it. And then something happens and you're like, oh, that guy won or this guy won or nothing happened or a fail. In my brain... I already saw five, six different outcomes. I left myself with two, three different choices. And I played everything in my favor. And that guy didn't. And I won. Very, very securely won. So, yeah. GG's.